Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to start Tableau Desktop Certification Series. Here I will share tips and tricks how to clear the exam as well as their study material. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. The purpose of this certification series is not only to clear the certification but to gain the knowledge as well. First, let's discuss some of the details of the exam, then we will move to the question. So number of the questions are 45 and these questions are multiple choice and multiple select items. Multiple select item question has more weightage than multiple choice. We will discuss both type of question in our series and the time limit is 60 minutes. Passing scores is 750 out of 1000 and registration fees is $100 plus GST. Target audience. Target audience is basically who has skills with Tableau desktop with the minimum of three months of experience. Okay. Maintaining certification. So this certification doesn't expire. Once you clear the certification, this certification will valid lifetime. Now discuss about the exam pattern. So exam is divided into four domains. So first domain is connecting to and preparing data. You can expect 10 to 11 questions from this domain. Domain 2 is exploring and analyzing the data. You can expect 16 to 17 questions from this domain. Domain 3 is sharing insights. You can expect 11 or 11 to 12 questions from this domain. Understanding Tableau concepts, you can expect 6 to 7 questions from this domain. Okay. You can expect one or two questions extra or less per domain. Okay. So today we are going to discuss domain one. Domain one in connecting to and preparing the data, you will get 10 to 11 question from this domain. So these are the focus topic for this domain. One is live versus extract. So you, you can expect one or two or maybe three question from this. Second one is what happen when you connect to the data. This is like directly mentioned in our syllabus of the Tableau desktop series and Third one is metadata, Tableau extension. So mainly focus on .tds. You can expect one or two questions from the Tableau extension. Relationship versus join versus blend. You can expect three to four or maybe more question based on relationship versus join versus blend. And then multiple ways to rename a field, alias, default properties, data types, and how to change their data type, how to access default properties, pivot and split and data interpreter. So these are 11 topics that are mainly focused in this domain. Okay. Now let's move to our question part and discuss some of the question one by one. In every video, I'm going to discuss 20 question and I'll try to discuss as much as question I can in this series so that it would be beneficial for you to clear the exam the first question of our series is when should you use data blending to combine the data let's check their option when the data has same structure but is for different time for period this is wrong because in the data blending we can connect the data from different time period as well okay when data is from same connection this is also wrong because we use data blending to connect data from multiple data sources or multiple connection when the data will be used in multiple worksheet within a workbook okay this is also wrong because for this we can use join and relationship as well so this is also wrong and last one is d when using data sources that cannot be combined with the default method of using a relationship this is right one because let's say we are working uh, with the published data source so with the published data source the only way to combine the data is data blending okay so the answer is D. Second one is what is the difference between live and extract connection? Select all that apply. Let's check their option. Live allows real time data while extract are kind of batches that needs to be refreshed from time to time. Get the updated data. Okay, this is correct because live basically work we are working directly with the data sources and any changes made to the data set will be reflect in our database so this is right and extract are kind of batches 
batch is, is basically subset of the data that needs to be refreshed so this is right live connection takes more time to load the data then extract this is also correct because as we are working with the live data set or full set of the data so live take more time to load the data rather than extract connection okay a and b are right live connection doesn't slow down operation queries which result in fetching data quickly this is wrong because if we calculate the time taken by live and extract to fetch out the data so live takes more time as compared to extract so c option is wrong both the connection same time to work with and they don't have any functional difference this is also wrong because live is full subset live is full data and extract is subset of the data so this is also wrong so the right option is a and b third one is why are the direct connection to the extract is not recommended select all apply the table names will be different this is right extract cannot be refreshed this is also right data model and the relationship will be rows this is also right the extract connection cannot be removed once it is connected directly this is wrong for this let's discuss the official document of the tableau to know more about this option okay so from this article you can see why we don't connect directly to the extract table names will be different you cannot extract the refresh the data model initial will be lost okay you can read the more details about here i will provide this link in the description box okay but the right option is a b and c okay now next question is data source dot tds contains only information we need to connect to the data source including the following select all apply so basically in this question we need to tell which type of information tds store okay so it store data source type this is correct group sets calculated fields bins this is also correct connection information specified on the data source x for example data server address port location of the file table this is also right default field properties for example number format aggregation and so this is also right okay so answer is all option okay next question is how many data source can be blend in the tableau 2 3 4 5 so the right answer is 2 because when we connect the data by using data blending it's create two data set that is one is primary and secondary okay so the right answer is 2 in relationship we need to define the following join type inner join left join right join or it is not required to define a join in relationship if you know the answer please write down in the comment section right answer is it is not required to define a join in relationship because relationship doesn't required a join to connect the data okay so the right answer is d which option leads to adjusting the granularity of the data in the tableau aggregate group by group by field and extract answer is aggregate because aggregate and the granularity are opposite to each other if more granularity less aggregation less granularity more aggregation okay so the right answer is a next question is advantage to using relationship to combine table select all apply first option is make it easier to change the key fields used to combine the table this is wrong because we can do this by using data blending as well so this is not an advantage make it easier to analyze data across multiple tables at different levels of granularity this is correct because relationship keeps both the table as a separated table and we can analyze both the tables at different level of granularity okay makes it easier to combine rows from one table with rows from another this is wrong because we can do this by using union not with relationship tables are only queried when fields are from the tables are added to the views this is correct right answer is b and d 
next question is select the correct pathway to edit the data source let's try it how we can edit the data source go to data then our data source and then edit data source let's check which option is matching with this data menu select a data source and add a data source so the right answer is a aliases cannot be created for the following select all applies options are discrete dimension continuous dimension measures and dates let's try one by one so this is discrete dimension when we right click on it we are getting the option so this is wrong and now change it to continuous we are not getting any option to change the alias so this is the right option let's try on the date as well we are not getting any option to change the alias for the date so this is also right option we can check for the ship date as well we are not getting and for any measures we are not getting okay so the right answer is b c d next question is when assigning geographic role to a field tableau adds two fields to the measures area of the data pane okay so by default tableau added five fields in the tables that is measure name latitude longitude and here you sometime you will get order of count number of rows extract count or order of count okay and the fifth one is measure value okay so for but in this question it is asking for only for geographic role so for geographic role it adds latitude and longitude so the right answer is a choose the correct path to change the data type of a field in the view let's check how we can change the data type of a field in the view let's say we want to change it for customer name right click on it go to change data type and then select the data type okay let's check which option is matching with this right click the field in the data pane that is common in all the fields change the data type that is also matching and then choose the appropriate data type so b option is matching if you look at this there is one extra step data type that is not available when we check how to change the data type okay so the right answer is b next question is choose the correct path to add a default comments for a field let's see how we can add a comment to a field for this right click on any field then go to default properties then go to comments okay from here you can add the comments let's say hello and click on okay you can see when you hover on it you will get the comments okay so let's check which option is matching right click a field in the data pane that is common in all then go to default properties and then comment so a option is matching so right answer is a a union of the two table usually result in increase in the number of columns increase in the number of rows decrease in the number of columns decrease in the number of rows so how a union works so union is basically append the data of the two tables so right option is increase in the number of rows that is b let's move to the next slide next question is when using a blend what is the color of the tick mark on the primary and the secondary data source respectively options are red and blue orange and blue blue and red blue and orange let's check it i have already added two data sources let's drag one field from primary and one field from secondary so you can see blue color is assigned to the primary and the orange color assigned to secondary so the right answer is d next question is valid use case of managing metadata select all apply options are to view all hidden fields this is correct because by using metadata we can view all the hidden fields from the dashboards or the worksheets 
to see the field name in the original data source this is also correct to see the table if fields belong this is also correct to clean and automatically fix the issue this is wrong so the right answer is a b and c when user connect to tableau the data fields in their data set are automatically assigned a dash and dash options are type and role data type and value role and type dimension and measures the right answer is first tableau assign type and then assign role so right answer is a so what are type and role type is basically data type tableau assign a specific data type to each field based on their data and role is whether it is discrete or continuous dimension or discrete or continuous measure okay dash is used to so that labels appears differently in the view so alias by default what does tableau do when you connect to the data so tableau create a live connection to the data so if you notice whenever we connect to the data tableau automatically connect data to the live connection okay so the right answer is create live connection to the data this question is important because this is directly mentioned in the syllabus let's move to the last question of this video what are the options available while creating extract select all apply first let's go and create extract click on extract go to edit and you can see we are getting filter option aggregate number of rows hide unused field and history and data storage as well okay let's see how many options are matching with this filters aggregation hide unused field and history means all are matching so the right answer is all i have not added all in the option menu because i want you to check all the option and then select correct options okay that's it for this video thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming parts